about um, seeding. Uh, Saladin. Oh no, I wasn't trying to do shoutouts. I was just actually saying, awesome. Let's get let's get more viewers. Four four viewers are great. No. Nah. No, nah, I was being facetious for sure. Maybe I'm using that word wrong. Oh, and there we go. Like I said, uh, TRK definitely has some tricks of, uh, tricks up his sleeve in this matchup. I don't know where he got it from. Um, I don't know what Puff he plays against on the reg, but he, he seems pretty pretty okay with with playing it. His needle game is pretty on point on Battlefield for sure. And he, those, I, I I think I've said this last time when I watched him play a Puff, and I think he was playing Bobby or Metal Reaper, and he really uh, really relies on the full hop or short hop fast fall fair. Definitely just got bared to death though. Mauled by that bear. Atom's trying to see if he can uh, catch TRK out with some crouch cancel shenanigans. Or just the crouching shenanigans that Puff has in general. But TRK is not biting. And Atom Atomisk is just like. I'm gonna mess up that name a bunch. Yeah, Atomisk is definitely getting just like. baited hard. Adamus is gonna need to try try to find some new tricks. Ah, uh, soon. Let's see if he can adapt. All right. Oh, uh, I don't know if TRK messed with his messed with his tech roll timing, but he definitely got away from that jab reset. I, I like these uh, short dash dances into shield stops from TRK to space him space himself very well, very well against what Puff has to offer. Um, Adamus might need to start just putting his back to to this cheek. Oh, uh, like wow, that was beautiful. Doesn't go for the rest, I understand, because he doesn't want to trade stocks. Oh, uh, but he misses the forward smash there, thinking that the Sheik was going to be on the other side of him. Still gets the grab, throws him off stage, gets the bear. Another bear? Yeah. And a good edge hog. Yeah, a Adamesk is definitely adapting well. Um, like I thought, he's just going to start putting his back to him. And he's going to see if he can just bear him out all the way. I really like when he falls, he he crouches, just getting ready for the potential potential grab that TRK that he thinks TRK is going to throw out. But again, TRK is not going to bite on that. He's he's uh he seems to be really patient on that front. Does not want to get um, rested for trying to grab him. TRK covering the edge there, kind of keeping Adamus cornered. Yeah, definitely keeping him over on, onto the right side. Not letting him get get into the stage. I just found the opening. Backers, more. Oh, he turns around by accident. I have to say that was by accident because if he kept going with that, the uh, TRK would be dead. Um, he definitely could have just kept backing there and, and took that, taken that stock. Oh, and a great nerd. Uh, out of that combo, even. There we go. Some down throw conversions. She does have those against Puff. Just even at low percents, she can she can do some uh, silly things. Uh, and I believe this is what the people have been waiting for all day. Uh, yeah, she she Puff. I've been trying to uh, keep it hype, but I mean I don't know. This has been a pretty quick match so far. Yeah, it's gone four and a half minutes already, but they haven't stopped fighting. They haven't hit the red zone. Yeah. Once it gets past five, that's when it's in the red zone. I, I agree. You know and I mean? they've definitely been going at it, and this has been entertaining so far. Yeah.
Uh, fun fact, not related to Smash, my first job was at Burger King when I was like 14. Yeah. And I remember like the order times with the order, like, when the orders got like so delayed, they would yeah. go to the red. Oh! Oh, man. Is that it? That's yeah, that's it. Wow. Go Sheik off the stage. Now, actually, you weren't here earlier, but TRK was solidly in the lead at the beginning of this game. Yeah. I and Adamus brought it back. Brought it back hard. Adamus is a, a champ. Yeah, he's a seasoned player for sure. He's a, Yeah, he's a veteran. Veterans so, don't uh, yeah, yeah. have the mental problems that a lot of new players have because they've been there before. You know what you can and can't do when you've been around long enough. You know, you don't have to go through the, the struggles of, oh, man, can I do this? Uh -huh. Can I bring it back? Because you already know you can. You've done it. Right. You've been doing it for years. So you're just like, all right, so this guy is, is beating me now, but how can I turn this around? And he definitely he definitely did that. Uh, now it's all on, actually, it's definitely on TRK's, you know, balls on his court. He, yeah. needs to, he needs to do something with it. Otherwise, ooh. And that is not what he needs. Yeah. <laughs> Dying. Adamus taking little to no damage. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. What the heck? He like up aired every needle. All right. So what was the story you were saying? I'd like to hear it. Oh right. I was just saying that like when the orders took so long, they went into the red zone. Like the numbers would literally turn red. Oh yeah. Hear a sound. And like I feel like that's what happens in these matchups that people aren't super hype about. They'll, yeah. Like it, it's as long as they can still be really hype matches. Like. Uh, like one of the hyper sets of all time, of course, was was Mega Armada Genesis One. Yeah, and that's that's a super floaty set. It was it was Peach Pur yeah. Peach Puff, right? Yeah, and in a lot of the matches even went into the red zone, but they were playing so in well. each other's faces. Yeah, so they didn't really matter. Like yeah, I everybody was so hyped because like everything they were doing was to fight each other. They weren't trying to run away at all. Right. That was and very smart of Adamus. Just yeah. hold the ledge, realizing he can't really do much from there except go straight up. Well. Uh, TRK can probably be more frame perfect on the uh, Shino stall. <gasps> Adamus was definitely looking for something cheeky there. And TRK, I think, kind of got away with murder. I, th I think maybe he, he spaced that grab purposefully, but it looked like he did get baited. Yeah, I think he uh, he got a solid read. Just Ooh! That, he was, like, magneted into his hand. Right. A lot of people underestimate Sheik's grab range. It is like the second farthest grab range, I believe, in the game is next to Marth. I didn't know it was the second. I knew it was pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, what, 1.3? Like, units? Yeah. I know it's Marth, then. Marth and Roy are the like the same. But Roy's not real. You know? <laughs> of the viable characters, it's the second best. No, this is... This is... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. Animus... Animus is putting in work to, today. You know what? Let's see if T TRK has that like heart of a champion. Though. Yeah, Adamus I would like to see back. it. Let's see if TRK can bring it back. Right uh, now, it's looking like the answer is no. All right. Okay. Yeah, but this stinks. But yeah, what does he get out of this? <laughs> he gets a down throw forward air. Almost died for that. Yeah, I thought he was going to get it. <laughs> I was about to say that's it. Oh. Oh, Adamus. <gasps> oh, Gip, Gip City. <gasps> What a play from TRK. All right, tight battle. Let's go. We bringing it back. Oh, we get grabbed, though. Oh, <laughs> and then oh. forward smash to the face. It was actually looking pretty good, and then it looked really bad all at once. All right. Un uh, uncharacteristically, TRK losing in top eight. Yeah, I mean. On loser side, uh, even. TRK yeah. normally doing pretty well at these events.